Hey Phil, this is Jeff with Zucor Marketing. We're based out of San Antonio, Texas and Eric Ferrari drew up site over for an analysis. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get more customers online. We're also going to run through a couple of things that you can implement right now. And aside from viewing your website, we're also going to look at one of your top competitors' website and show you how they're currently beating you online and the things that you can actually do differently to counteract that. But first, we'll start off with your website. You actually have a pretty good looking website. You have your logo at the top. You have good photos, pretty good portfolio, good amount of contents, nice layout, and your company's information at the bottom. So there's actually just some few things we're going to get over with first to make sure we get you on top of the search list. One thing you can tell right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google is actually looking for 1,500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google's eyes. So of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you'd want to have 1,500 words or more. Let's go ahead and do a quick count just first to see how many words you have on your homepage. Currently, you have 156 words, which is quite behind with the goal of 1,500. So if you add more words into your homepage, the better. Another thing we like to talk about are keywords. Google is also looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. So if you have the exact words listed multiple times in your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So I did a quick search and I used the keyword kitchen cabinets in Bend, Oregon, which is a pretty good example of a strong keyword. Let's go ahead and talk more about the results that we have here. Starting off with the first one, these are what we call the map pack. And of course, this is something where you really would like to be on since these are the ones that gets a lot of attention, a lot of traffic, and they're easier to find. I'm actually seeing that you're ranking second on the map pack searches. One way for you to be at the top is you'll need to add all of your company's information into as many directories as possible, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie.com, and so on and so forth. Moving on to the next part, these are what we call the organic searches. These are all the website that actually ranks higher without people paying for any ads, just because they're doing some certain things. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about and analyze. So we pulled up one of the top ranking website. Let's see what they have differently. Well, for their website, they also have their logo at the top. They have their call to action, the services they offer. They have their process, their client testimonials, which is really important for a website their blogs, and their company's information at the bottom as well. Let's go to move on with the numbers. So we have your Ahrefs, one of the paid tools so we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. We'll be talking more about the numbers starting off with DR. This is the level of trust that Google has in your website and UR is the strength of your website. Backlinks, on the other hand, these are other website that refers to your website. So they're like shout out some different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and the like. Let's go ahead and take a look at your competitor's numbers. So with DR and UR, it shows that Google actually considers their website a much more trustworthy and a stronger website. That's also because they have more backlinks. They also have more keywords, which gave them more traffic within the last 30 days. One important thing that you need to discuss in regards to backlinks and referring domains is that this actually needs to be a 2 to 1 ratio. So this 118 referring domains that they have, these are what we call the good or high quality backlinks. While the rest of the missing backlinks, those are just the spammy backlinks. So what you can actually do differently in your end is of course you still need to increase the number of your backlinks. You also need to add more keywords, but most importantly, you need to increase the high quality backlinks for you to have a much better ratio. And as a result, you'll definitely get more traffic out of it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the strong backlinks and the keywords that your competitors are using. And let's discuss the importance of this too, especially in making your website stronger and better. Starting off with the referring domains. These are all the directories they're currently listed on that brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic. That's why they're also ranking higher in the searches. Next are the organic keywords. These are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for these specific words, their website will show on top of the list. If you also look at the numbers under volume, these are the total number of people that searches for these specific keywords on Google every month. 
So that's how important choosing the right keyword is. That way more customers will be able to find your website quicker and easier. Another thing we like to share about keywords is what we call the hidden keyword. So for every photo that you have listed on your website, you can actually rename them with a hidden keyword instead. That way you'll be able to have more hidden keywords added into your website and not only that, of course for those keywords to not to be repetitive on your website as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can do to improve your ranking is first the amount of content where we're going to add more words into your homepage. That way Google actually consider your website a much more trustworthy website. Next are the backlinks where we're going to add your information to more directories as possible. That way we can actually bring you more traffic and of course the higher chances of your website in appearing at the top in most of the map hack searches. Last but not the least will be the keywords where we're going to help you out in adding more keywords and of course choosing the right ones. That way more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. So these are all the things that you can actually implement right now and of course we can also help you out in making these changes and more with the goal of getting you many new customers. Eric will also be following up just to get some feedback about the ideas I discuss on this video. So I really do appreciate your time. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.